Hi, my name is Mason Dukacek, and welcome to our show, Build a Tribe Live, where I have the privilege of interviewing established business experts, thought leaders, and up-and-comers with unique and interesting perspectives on how to help business owners attract, capture, and convert more of their ideal prospects into customers online. Today's guest is Caesar Keller, who is an outstanding entrepreneur in his own right, who has built over three successful web development companies and has been invited to speak at Adobe's worldwide conferences for developers anywhere from San Francisco, California, all the way to Sydney, Australia. And I invited Caesar in today to come visit with us and share some of his ideas on how to help business owners use their websites to generate more leads and increase conversion rates. Um, what design strategies do you see that distinguish bad sites from excellent ones? Uh, number one is uh, always we always talk about personas and critical paths. Okay, a good design is going to help visually lead you to where you need to be. So that means that you've already thought about the path of where customers are going to go, where prospects are going to go. Can you give me an example of what that might look like? Sure. So if you're coming to the homepage and you're selling uh, X product you might have a couple of personas. You might have a high person that's got high dollars and willing to spend X on something, and then you've got the budget conscious person. But let's say you offer both products. Sure. Having the separation of saying, hey, if you want this product with all this stuff and all these features and this price, go here. If you want to be price conscious and you want to see our hot deals or last year's model but brand new, but you get a great savings, a great point. go here. I mean, so, it's got to be spilled out for people. I mean, you've got, you you got to make it simple. If you're going to make them figure it out, they're going to get frustrated, and that equals not user friendly. And then you have a, have a bad win. So just thinking strategically of, I want to route these personas that have these needs this way, and these other people this way. If you do that with a part of the design, it's not about being pretty or beautiful. I mean, that's a part of it. Yeah, but if you're right. intuitive and smart, as well as branding yourself, you're one step ahead of the game. And could you expand a little on the path? You mentioned that. So uh, think about the, like uh, the homepage. A lot of people just think, oh, I'm just going to put a whole bunch of information on there. But a homepage is like traffic control for an airport. It's a uh, all right. You've come to the main spot, but you got to go here, 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 and there. And right. here's why you want to go to these points. It's a little bit different when you're talking about online marketing. If you have a marketing campaign and people find you, you don't want to point people to the traffic control because you've already figured out if they found this piece of content and this content is relevant. Point them to the strategic landing page where they can see the product right there and then. They can make a decision right on the spot. Why point them to the website and have them figure out that whole path? You see what I'm saying? Sure. So it's just being intuitive about where you're going to put them and really nice organized menus and just keeping things simple. I saw Russell Brunson uh, get interviewed by Tony Robbins to the confused customer always says no. Absolutely.